So in this video, I'm going to create the Herons bootable USB drive. So I'm in the Herons website and I need to download two files to create the bootable USB drive. So there's some information here where you can check. So I'm going to click on download. So I need to download the ISO file. And this is it here. So it's downloading. I'll click on USB booting. And I need to download this ISO to USB.exe file. I'm going to click on it, download it. So the two files are downloading. So with this Herence USB drive, you can troubleshoot a computer. It has a lot of tools in it that you can use to troubleshoot a PC. So the two files have been downloaded. So I need to show the extension, which one is an ISO or .exe file. So I'll just open any folder. So I'm going to click on view show and i'm going to select file name extensions so now the extensions show so i'm going to click on the exe file so i'm using a 16 gig usb drive so this is the usb drive here and this is the iso file so usually it picks up the iso file but if not just click on this search icon here and select the ISO file and click open. So there are two options here. It's going to format the USB drive and it's also going to copy the ISO content to USB device. I'm going to click process. I'll click yes. So the Heron bootable drive is being created. So the bootable USB drive was created. I'm going to close this. So the computer I'm using is a laptop. So I'm going to reboot the laptop and boot it from the Heron's USB drive. So you want to make sure that secure boot is disabled. So I'm going to click the USB drive and it's booting up from the Heron's USB drive. So it booted up into this desktop. So this is the desktop. These are the icons on the desktop. There's Firefox, Google Chrome, and Internet Explorer. There's the control panel, command prompt. There's a utilities folder. So this is the utilities folder. So I'll open the administrative tools folder. There's device manager, disk management, computer management. These are some of the BCD, MBR tools. These are other tools. There's VLC Media Player, Zip File Manager. There's Notepad++, WinMerge. This is the System Tools folder. These are some of the tools. This is the Hardware Info, Windows Setup. There's Hard Disk Tools, Data Recovery. These are some of the tools here. There's Recover. So there's Petition Tools. There's Aomi Petition Assistant, Disk Genius. So I'll open the security folder. This is the imaging folder. There's Acronis, there's Macrium Reflect. I'll click on the defrag folder. I'll open defragger. So here, this is the laptop C drive. I can defrag it. So this is a network folder. This is the administrative tools. There's computer management, control panel, device manager, disk management. This is the hard disk tools folder. There's data recovery. This is the system tools. So there's a taskbar here. There's also the snipping tool here. So I'll click on the start menu. I'll click on all programs. So you have the run command. So I'll click on all programs. I'll click on windows recovery, system tools, security. So under security, there's a password folder. I'm going to click on it. I'll click on NT password edit. So for example, you can use this Herens USB to reset a password of a computer or remove the password. So this is the path to the SAM file and this is pointing to the C drive. I'll click open and I have two user accounts here, administrator and John. So this is an example. I can highlight John's username and I can change the password and I can type a new password, I can leave it blank. So I'm going to type a new password. I'll click OK. So this will come in handy if you are troubleshooting uh, a computer where a user forgets their password. I'll click Exit. I'll click Yes, Save Changes. So I'm going to open this PC. 
So I have the C drive and this is the appearance bootable USB drive. So this is the C drive of the laptop. So I'm going to open up the utilities folder again. I'll click on Windows Recovery. So I'm going to click on the list of Windows Recovery. I'm going to click OK. So here are some tools that you can fix the C drive. So I'm going to open the utilities folder. I'm going to click on the networks folder. And these are some of the tools. I'll click on the PE network icon. And here is a tool that you can troubleshoot your network. So we detected the Ethernet port and I'm using a Realtek USB adapter. I click on computer. So I can ping other computers in the network by the address or host. Here's sharing. Here's network drives. This is profiles. There's other. Where is where is that? I think that. So I can search for Wi-Fi. I just have to click on start. Here's advanced. I'll close this. So I can use this part and just open the command prompt here, and I can type this part. I can list this. So this is the laptop drive. So this is a useful tool that you can use to troubleshoot a PC. For example, like change the password. So I'm going to click on this PC and here I can access the laptop C drive and I can also access data. For example, I can click on users. So I'll click on John and I have access to the user's data. So example, if the computer cannot be booted up, then with this Hiran's USB drive, you can access the C drive in the computer and access the user's data. So this is a very useful USB toolkit that you can use to troubleshoot a PC. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.